Hey there, today I am going to share with you my channeled message for the month of November for all astrological signs. There. My name is Amira Hall. I am a spirit medium, a channel, and a quantum energy healer. And I am here to help you raise your vibration, tune into your intuition, and manifest a life you love. You know, I thought I'd explain to you today that when I sit down in, in a meditative state to receive your message for the month and for mid-month messages, I like to do it in quiet time where I'm not distracted. When I'm tuning into a large number of energies and a large group, there's so much energy of excitement and interest and energies bombarding me that I do it on the side and then I take notes. So I've got my little book here with the notes for you for this month, just to remind myself of, of what exactly I saw because I do go into a modified trance. And it was really interesting as I was tuning into the energies and the message from my guides for you, here's what they showed me. They showed me a giant tree with some very deep and wide reaching roots. And you know, I pondered this and trying to understand the message and the implication of, of what that is for you. And the first thing that I was noting were and drawn to were the roots, the very wide stretch, deep roots. And they were strong and they were branching out almost like a tree in their, in, in their own right. You know, and then I followed the trunk up and the trunk was solid and strong. So I'm going, okay, it looks all good to me. But then I reached the branches of the, where the leaves were all held and the branches just went bigger and bigger and wider and wider. And then there was a huge explosion. Some of you might be alarmed by the, the notion of an explosion, but my sense was that there's an emotional outburst, there's an emotional awakening or a spiritual awakening, a part of yourself that is growing and reaching parts of, of the universe, perhaps into other dimensions, perhaps going beyond where you've ever found yourself. And some of you are being pushed up that route to, to stretch into something new. But that explosion, you know, it's, it's the nature of creation. It's a shift that can be radical for some of you and it can be sudden and it can be a burst um, where you're completely shocked. Uh, but I feel like there's a lot of you that have been you know, moving into a whole new direction, perhaps a new version of yourself, slowly, slowly, as that trunk has been getting wider and stronger. You know, you've been, some of you I, I know have been working on your physical strength or making changes in your physical body. And I believe that's what the trunk and the roots that were telling me is that, you know, we've got to sometimes work on parts of ourself that are hidden or below the surface maybe not as obvious to everybody in the world, but you know, creating that strength, creating a new sense of stability, creating, and, and perhaps some of you are feeling rather insecure or unstable um, in this process. It is a journey. There's a lot of twists I'm feeling and turns. You know, I've been talking about that in my previous month's messages, you know, twists and turns and some surprises. And I really do feel that we need to be attentive and maybe alerted to some possible twists and turns that we're not expecting to be able to be grounded and stabilized to be rooted and in in the present moment and to not freak out if something totally unexpected shows up that's our challenge most definitely and you know with all the work i do with my my students and clients you know we're continually letting go of things that can keep us stuck or can keep us in maybe an old pattern of reaction. And so there's some parts of you that are being challenged to redirect yourself under a new course of action, perhaps with a new um, approach emotionally and showing a new, turning over a new leaf, they're saying. <laughs> They're, they're reminding me that some of us have been thinking things are headed down a path and going in a certain direction and some and that might be completely flipped over and completely redirected. So there's going to be some su surprises in that way. Not that it's a bad thing or a good thing, but it's new. And so it's going to require a new uh, 
attitude perhaps, a new way of thinking, a new approach. Um, you thought you were going for a day in the desert and it's gonna be a trip to the mountains <laughs> and you might need to put some chains on the tires. So there's some things like that that are gonna pop up that will be unexpected. I feel like Spirit's saying, you know, there's not only surprises and some changes in your own life, there's going to be some big changes around you in our culture, perhaps in our world, um, that are gonna take us off guard and there are gonna be surprise developments that we didn't see coming. And I really feel like for most of us that there's some ancestral uh, surprises. And I don't know if there's some new discoveries that we're gonna be, you know, uh, informed about, but I feel like it has to do with humanity's evolution. So whether that's, I don't know if that is going to be spiritual or economic or uh, physical in terms of the earthly uh, plane, but I do feel that it is more about a discovery of something that has been unseen up until this point. Perhaps something we saw is going to be presented in a whole new way. Perhaps some of us have gleams of this and it just will be confirmed. So be on the look on, out for that. And Spirit's telling me that with all of this happening, there is so much development going on with our third eye, that sixth chakra part of us, that inner vision, that intuition. And some of you, um, of course, have been working on that and being able to trust that a little more. Some of you are still stuck with the feeling part of yourself, and those sometimes can betray us, and sometimes we're off course or off, off. But you can certainly, you know, be in alignment with that too and trust that. But this is a real critical time for us to develop that part of ourselves, to be able to trust that. Because as I said, and as Spirit was saying, there's gonna be so many twists and turns that we need to be able to trust our intuition. It's critical um, because a lot of surprises on the way, and maybe you haven't taken this path before, you're gonna be able to uh, hopefully trust that intuition to guide you. And for those of you who are looking for some support and help in developing those intuitive abilities, that's why I'm here. So you can check out the links below on for my website. But, um, you know, and Spirit's saying, you know, sometimes we're going to be challenged with what we're seeing. And maybe there's going to be a sense of disbelief in what we're seeing. Perhaps it's such a shock, whether, let's say it's our monetary system, or maybe it's beings from another dimension. Perhaps you'll see a loved one in a completely new light and just, you know, have to blink three times, can't quite believe it. Um, so in terms of those things, there's a part of ourself that has to process what is happening before our eyes. Sometimes we don't believe things until we see them, and sometimes now we're not gonna believe what we see. So those changes are going to challenge us um, to take some steps at new levels. And, and they're telling me our insights of what is true is going to be critical for us to be able to trust that, trusting our insights. And along those lines, they're also saying, you know, releasing our judgments, again, releasing judgments on ourself, perhaps on our perception of things, or perhaps that we didn't see something coming, perhaps that we feel tricked or betrayed that we didn't see something. But there's an element of releasing this tendency or uh, reflex to be self-righteous or to be judgmental about all of what we're seeing. And again, you know, whether it's a political level or a governmental level or things that are happening in the world around us, you know, if we jump to those places of, of judging and making it right or wrong, I think that's also going to be something that's going to keep us stuck. So we're being challenged to let go of those judgments, to not being in a place of good or bad, right or wrong. If we can somehow find that fulcrum point or that if you're, you know what a teeter-totter is, you know, the kids go up or down, up or down. So try to find that middle point so that we're not up or down or right or wrong. And then we can um, just be in that place of neutral observation, maybe allow without judgment. That's a hard, hard thing for us to do. I know that. 
So when we're in that place of neutrality or being in that place of allowing, that's my guides are telling me that this is the powerful, powerful point from where we manifest. Because when we're judging something as bad or when we're feeling bad about something or making it wrong, then we're holding back our flow and we're staying stuck in perhaps an old pattern that is limiting our ability to attract more of what we want rather than what we don't want, especially if it's something we don't like. So that's the next step in being able to manifest our dreams. And I talk about that in my books in Manifesting Miracles 101 and also my ebook, you know, The Art of Manifesting Anything You Want. So there's plenty of surprises for us, but we've got to stay in that neutral space. You know, it was interesting too, as I was looking at that explosion of the leaves and the branches that just went boom, I, you know, sitting in that was a little bit of a shock. And so Spirit was saying to me, there's a windfall that wants to fall in to your, your world of experience and your perception. And so I found that so interesting that, you know, that's sort of exploding us into receiving more, you know, so I want to ask you, you know, for you to tune into what's your ability to receive right now. I like to imagine a little gauge with a needle from zero to a hundred percent and then raise that needle if it's at 20% or 30% and move that needle all the way up to a hundred percent. And that's a real powerful place to be and it helps us reset our energy. And you know, it was so fun um, as Spirit was showing me the explosion and the tree expanding. I was guided to this tree outside my window. And if you've never seen this before, maybe you have, this is a holly branch. It's holly wood, holly wood. And you know, in ancient Egypt, the sorcerers would use or wave a stick of holly wood um, to convince people or they to get you to do what they want you to do and or to believe what they're telling you to believe. And so I'm using this holly wood right now. Maybe that's why, you know, the movie industry took that name is to convince you of things they want you to know. Today, I'm just going to wave my magic Hollywood uh, sticks here to help you open to that receptivity and that magical space of manifesting in abundance and being in that powerful vortex of energy of creating whatever it is that your heart desires. So with all of that said, there's a lot to take in there. I have been um, shuffling the cards before I sat down and, and meditated. And, and here's the card that I picked for us. And you know, this is so interesting, this card to me. Um, you know, Spirit's telling me in this card to step into a new version of yourself. You know, taking a step perhaps with these high heels. But notice the heel is lost, that's not showing here. Whether it's broken off, perhaps you've stepped into a whole new version of yourself or going into uh, stepping up with a you know new hope and new aspirations and uh, you know i love this yellow ribbon with the it, it's like to me wrapping a gift you know that beautiful yellow ribbon but it, a yellow ribbon is a remembrance to remember who you are and that green treasure large stone there you know to me talks about the physical body healing but also opening up or aligning that vehicle with everything that you are and right next to that I see all of these golden eggs flowing like a river through the card next to the stars or with the stars so perhaps there's some inspiration flowing in and some new ideas perhaps these are golden eggs of of ideas that are wanting to come your way but you've got to be open for it and look at this there's some riders on a roller coaster and some of us have been on a roller coaster, that's for sure. This year hasn't been easy, I can t attest to that. But this guy in the car, 
He has got his arms up. He's ready to receive. Yeah, he's screaming. He doesn't know where the twists and turns are going to show up, but he's elated and he's embracing the thrill, the adventure of everything that's showing up on his, on his tracks. So he's embracing it as much as he can. He's enthusiastic. He's open. He's receiving. So the excitement is building. I can see that. Um, I also want to note too that there's a an epitaph or a grave marker. It looks like that to me at the bottom of the roller coaster, and and perhaps there's some things that are dying or falling away or dissolving in your world. And so I really want to say that you know as we can let those go, letting old parts of ourself fall away, letting old versions or patterns or ideas or ways of being fall away is really a powerful um, thing to do right now. I think we've been talking about that, my guides and I, for the last several months. So this again is, is so critical right now that you allow that to fall away. And, and if you need help with that, you know, certainly reach out and I can help you with that. Because uh, some of us are being challenged to move out of our comfort zone and some of us are screaming, you know, and, and are fearful of what's, what's, what's around the corner. So, so, you know, I can help you with that. Um, the link for the sessions are in the description below. Now, Spirit was also showing me, you know, I said, well, is there another picture that I can share with this reading today or with your message? And they showed me this piece of, of my artwork that I've done over the last several months. And you know, I love, love, love this green. This also was representative in our card, you know, with the green gemstone. I feel this green, this underwater, but this cleansing, this earthy, watery feeling of this painting. You know, it feels like there's inspiration flowing in. There feels like there's movement and it's gentle and it's crystal clear. As it's coming in, it's creating this refreshing new, um, you know, hydrated version of ourself with new, new, just like a whole new vibration that's light and bright and cheerful and refreshing. And I just love the bubbles, of course, um, in, in the painting that just tell me again that new ideas are percolating and new versions of yourself are bubbling up. And I one more thing, being this is the month of November with the month of Thanksgiving here in the United States. I really want to express my gratitude to all of you for supporting me, for liking the videos, for sharing the videos, and coming back every month. And for that, for this month, I have a real special offer because so many of you have questions about where you're at. And, and for this month only, there's a special link where you can connect with me just for 10 minutes and get your questions answered. So I hope that helps you. I hope to talk to you and I'll look forward to that. Sending you many, many blessings and abundance with your Hollywood. Hey Amira, everything is just turning out to be absolutely amazing. I actually have no words. I don't know how to thank you. Things are just turning out to be fabulous. First thing first, I was constantly listening to our previous recording and I've just realized that how much I blabber and you just have to bear with me. I mean, like, you've been asking me different questions and I've been answering you differently and you were so sweet and kind enough to just go along with the flow. And uh, the interesting part was I did the, uh, I was listening to the stress buster doing it, not very frequently, but I think I missed it twice or thrice, but then the rest of the days I was constantly on it. Uh, once we finished our session, as I mentioned in my email, I did get the second deal. Just, uh, I just met the father today, so hopefully by tomorrow the payment should be done and th things should be going on. Things are getting much better. First, after our second session, I thought that it wasn't as strong as the first one. But as days passed by, things started changing. Things started happening in a good way. So I realized that whatever was happening was happening for good. And I learned a couple of major lessons that I've been, pre I've been preaching them for years, but I've never practiced them. And I could never imagine myself that today I'm sitting in a point where I'm actually practicing them. And that's...
is after listening to the first uh, class with the chakra, the first of the base chakra, there are a few things that noted up which I wanted to discuss with you, and that was letting go the anger that I have towards my brother, my mother, totally in, uh, within my family that I could never forgive them. I could never accept them unconditionally for what they did to me and the kind of life I lived. And I, all, I came to this whole journey just to prove them that see how wrong you guys are and look at me, how powerful I am right now. So a lot of realization. And I also learned something with this journey, and that was after a second session, is that remember the first time when I came to you, you said that you wanted to give me a book about busting the, the money game, and then you were saying that money is not... Back of my mind, I was saying that, Amira, stop saying this. I, I mean, like, I know all this, but I really require money and things like that. But then after this, <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm being honest. But then after the second session, I actually learned that, my, I, that, that I felt the diffuse of the money energy that I was holding on to. It's like, I don't actually require money. That's where I attracted so many things in my life. Like, I, I always wanted an, a new iPod touch. And I thought that, okay, I'm not going to pay for it and I'm going to attract it. And then automatically it comes to me. And there's so many other things, a lot of res more respect, more trust from people who would hardly trust any other energy workers. So they started trusting me, more respect and more calm. I'm like, yeah, what the hell? Life is like this. I've actually felt detached. And if, at this point, if I don't have money, I don't panic. I'm like, hey, okay, it's fine. And that's where I see things are happening, good things are actually happening. And my heart feels from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. This is absolutely amazing.